Hey, hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Principality of Wales. This is part three. We're going to pick up from where we left off. Um, but before we get started, I just wanted to thank Psychopomp and the Black Wolf for all the comments and advice. I'll try my best to implement it um, as best as possible, as best as I remember. But at the same time, um, it, it'll most likely be a fluid situation. Plus, I have my own sort of... Um, ideas of how to uh, how to approach this next phase so um, as you can see we're nearly broke so what I want to do is I want to downgrade the army I think and what we'll do is um, downgrade the army and try and build up these three settlements I'd really like to get access to the um, to the trebuchets before we take on England um, they'll just give us a little bit more flexibility though the the catapults have been doing the job fairly well, but um, Yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm thinking is that we'll scale down the army um, So let's um This army basically is going to be garrison up here in the Northlands and when we're ready We'll build a second army over here. So this really just needs to be the bare minimum um so we'll get rid of some of these uh, some of these mercenaries. Let's get rid of these guys. Um, how does still that's not much. And let's get rid of the artillery. God, it's it's painful to get rid of the artillery because they take three turns to um, three turns to recruit. Still, that's not um, that's not great. These guys are each one forty. I, I'd like to have a strong enough force, though, to be able to um, be able to put up a decent defense against the uh, against the uh, the Brits if they do attack us. But I don't think they will. If we take a look at the um, if we take a look at them in diplomacy, it's deteriorating, but not by a whole lot. Um, My salutations and the good wishes of our people to yeah, you. Yeah, we can't get non-aggression. Oh, before I forget. Let's uh, let's get non-aggression with the papal papal states. My salutations and the good wishes of our people to you and yours. Of what would you speak? Oh, look at this! Um, can we? All right, 415. All right, there we go. All right, so non-aggression with the Papal States. That should help increase our uh, standing with some of the other factions. Let's see if France, we can I get non-aggression. I welcome you on behalf of the people and give ear to your word. All right, there we go. Non-aggression with France. Um, who else do we got? Eastern Christians. Um, I guess not... Huge priority to get non-aggression. France was kind of important. Um, Kingdom of Portugal. We are, as always, a welcoming host to you. Yeah, when we get non-aggression with some of these factions, it would increase our odds of getting uh, getting trade with them. Uh, once we get some tradable resources, that is. Be welcome. I listen and all right well, it's gonna be it for now I guess um well we'll try the diplomacy a little bit a uh, little bit later all right so we've got a small force um I don't want to get rid of the cavalry this guy is really expensive 366 this guy's not well 200 is expensive but I don't want to get rid of the cavalry because I I if we when we do battle with England it's likely that we're gonna have some um, some field battles, and if we're having some field battles, I'd like to have the cavalry advantage. If we have the cavalry advantage, then that increases our um, oh my god, 720. All right, we'll repair both of those. Yeah, if we have the cavalry advantage, it increases our ability to um, to control the battle and, and to take out their general, which which is a huge. You lose your general in Attila battles and it's uh, pretty much GG all right let's take a look here I think we can uh, set up another governor if I'm not mistaken in the highlands oh bollocks just spent the money on repairing this let's uh, let's hold off on that we'll repair it next turn 
This is what happens when you're when you're broke. See, even what do we got? We've got a marksman, a leader, and an administrator. Administrator plus three percent tax. Um, leader's got plus one authority. The more authority you have, the more public order um, you provide. So I think I'm gonna go with this guy Garmin um, because public order is um, is the big thing. And let's uh, let's just go empower local populace. Let's get that public order going in. We'll try and get these provinces grown up. Uh, this province we can switch this to growth for now uh, because we're getting decent public order. If we take a look here, um, power respectable minus. Oh shit! Current war, Imperium insignificant. Public order plus five. Food surplus. That's good. Papal standing five. We need to get our papal standing up. Uh, one of the things that both um, the Black Wolf and um, oh, I can't think of uh, the other bloke's name, but uh, the, uh, the the Crusades. Apparently, you can cr uh, recruit troops from your from Crusades for for free, but I've never done that, nor do I know how to do it. I don't think there's a Crusade going on right now, unless um, settlement occupied. Action destroyed. The thing is, too, I gotta go through these lists a little bit slower because I do miss um, the uh, the papal decrees or, or the papal requests at times. Yeah, this guy's leveled up. Um, just work towards um, work towards uh, campaign movement range. Oh, oh, here it is here. There are 14 turns of the crusade left. There it is there, and that's... I don't want to, I don't want to... What happens if I... Ah, oh, shit, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, we've got 14 turns left before we can recruit these Crusaders. That's, um, that is pretty sweet. Look at the upkeep costs on the fucking Knights. My God, they are expensive. Got some crossbows in here. All right, I'm going to wait till the last, basically the last possible turn to, um, to uh, Ready for battle. recruit those guys um, for now. And then what we'll do is we'll transfer these troops over to another general uh, before that happens. 2079. What happened that our income went up a little bit there? Because we're sending the, that guy on crusade? Um, ideally, I'd like to um, switch the walled city over to something else. But yeah, that gives us a pretty solid pool of troops to uh, to pull from. But uh, the crusade is in Egypt, if I'm not mistaken. Does it tell us where the crusade is? Join the fifth crusade. Your faction has joined the crusade and will be able to be at war with the faction holding the crusade target until it is taken from their hands in the invasion. Papal favor. Oh, papal favor increase for joining the just for joining the crusade. Where's the uh, papal favor? Papal standing seven. Up to four bonus from all. Okay. All right. So that's good. That's good. Good stuff. War declared. Principality of Wales and Abid Sultanates. Okay. So they're they're in Egypt. If we take a look at the. Yeah. I, I don't even think we could get down there within 14 turns. We're definitely not in a position to uh, perform the crusade. But yeah. Right now, let's just see if we can get our income up. Um, because we need to re we need to recruit trebuchets, we need to recruit crusaders. Um, yeah. Anyway, I think I've oh there was one last thing I wanted to do here uh, before I forget. Army's details. Let's. Uh, Wales, first, oh, first legion. All right. All 
All right. Uh, dangerously low integrity. Seriously, we just won a bunch of battles. How is there a integrity? Casual okay, casualty suffers. Battles 110. Change per turn, minus one. Faction. Faction minus five. Why is the faction minus five? Anyway, um, I guess, uh, execute deserters. Yeah. I think I did everything possible. So, yeah, this is probably gonna be a quieter episode. I don't think we'll have time to get battles in. I'll try and go through these turns quickly, but at the same time, I don't want to, um, want to forget anything, but shouldn't be a whole lot of stuff for us to uh, do. Just a matter of uh, getting these settlements built up and see if we can increase our, our income somehow. Alright, well, have you stay put? Oh, it actually repaired on its own. Look at that. That uh, saves us a little bit of money. Uh, uh, so how many we need four growth there? How many we need seven there? That'll, that'll be quite a while. But uh, this looks pretty pretty good for now. Uh, what are we researching? Wheat farm. Um, all right, yeah, the yarn hut is the yarn. The yarn hut must be the uh, yarn hut. Okay, yeah, that's what I want to um, research. Is we get uh, we get bonus for those sheep. Um, so those are primarily what we're gonna build, I think. Um, so yeah, we might as well continue on to that. Uh, you stay put there. Public order plus one there. Looking good. Looking good. Um, how is the growth here? Two. We need uh, we need seven. So it's coming along. Shouldn't be too long before we uh, get the growth there. And then I'm not sure what we'll build. But we want to save this money. I want to build this up to fishing docks. We have hold on to the fishing docks because um, you never know where there's a f when we're going to run into food problems. Additional world population, additional food. Alright. Yeah, have you stay put there? Uh, just double check that. Cute deserters. Edic. Mission issued. Crusade. Victorious Crusade. Public order plus five bonus. Turns remaining 13. Yeah. Yeah, we could, um, what we could do is we could get rid of all these troops and repla replace them with Crusaders. But these archers are pretty cheap. But um, we've still got uh, 13 turns left before we can replace them. Got some hospital. Just look at the upkeep cost on them. These guys are expensive. How much are the crossbows? The crossbows are pretty expensive. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, I'd love to just recruit all of them, but uh, the upkeep cost on them is going to be um, it's going to be pretty high. We probably need some fast cavalry mixed with some heavy cavalry. But yeah, what we'll do, yeah, since this guy's the guy that joined the crusade, we'll have to transfer these over to another army. But ah, fuck, our our income is uh, is pretty sad at the moment. Um, you know, we'll need a big force to battle the English as well. Um, it's definitely going to take, well, I, I would say probably one and a half stacks would be probably, probably sufficient. Um, ideally I'd like to have two full stacks, but I don't think, I don't think that's in the budget. I don't think that's in the budget at all.
The people will turn to the legions and they will set their swords to your people. What the hell? Were we not trading with these guys? We were, uh, oh man, that's annoying. Uh, I wish we had our artillery pieces right now. Shit. All right. Um, war declared. That means you need to get down here. 15, how many units do they have inside the settlement? Two, four, six, eight. Nine, ten. We've got lots of archers too. All right. Um, bollocks, 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 bollocks. Um, three thousand. Upgrade that. We'll upgrade it. Ah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. We got to come this way. Back down to Carnarvon, and we uh, they're a little bit quicker. So that puts us within range of. Will they attack us out there? Shit, that would be bad. <laughs> uh, maybe. Um, oh man. Well, fifteen. What do we got? Thirteen. Yeah, and it's an auto resolve result. Fuck. I think I just screwed up putting them into play there that would be bad um, could get uh, some agents marksmen and a warrior zeal plus one recruit another army here um, Yeah, we'll wait till next turn to recruit an army here. Shit, I'm I'm really concerned that we're in that he's gonna make the attack here. We're within his range of movement, and that we're gonna get we're gonna get that army killed. Kind of random. We were trading with them and just randomly declared war on us. Trying to think if there's uh, if there's anything I can, else I can do here. Growth plus three. How are we doing for the growth here? Look at that growth. That's fucking. That's beautiful. And public order here is not so great, but if we can get the, um, that'll be a little while before we can get the square put in there. Ooh man, that garrison is uh, not looking too, not looking too hot. <laughs> But yeah, hopefully they replenish over time. Ah, oh, man, I don't want to hit the end turn because I'm concerned. I'm deeply concerned here. There's a bot. Um, that's not... Uh... Um, Alright, this guy's governor. Um, we want, um, want that public order. Is the... Uh... I think we usually go for first. All right, nervous enter. Damn, I should have um, haven't checked the diplomacy for a little while. If we can get some more non-aggressions and whatnot. I think they might have gone. Or no, I don't think they've gone already. Damn, I was I a couple of symbols look familiar. Thought maybe that was them. God damn it. Oh my god. Oh, we can withdraw. We can even though we're in force march, we can withdraw. We that is fantastic. Oh my gosh. Our wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um Fuck. Well, looks like we're starting over from scratch. This really sucks because we're losing those crusade, the ability. Can we send another general on crusade? That's the question. Um, because we can get an army, if, if that's the case, get an army built up really quick.
Uh, a lot of cavalry. A lot of cavalry there. I thought this was uh I thought this was gonna be auto resolve battle, but uh the bacon. Yeah, the cavalry shouldn't really count for a whole lot. Got archers, though the fact that they're fighting in the range in the rain is uh, not going to be good for our archers. Where's the general, actually? You um, get in behind. Try and, um, try and create a little bit of a blockade here. And use the archers to thin them out. They don't have a lot of archers, but they, yeah, got a lot of melee units. Holy shit, these boats are... It looks like it's sinking already. <laughs> oh, man, what a disaster. What a freaking disaster. Yeah, I didn't... Um, did not take into consideration the uh, the huge movement that... Um, God, these boats are slow. Look how slow these boats are. My gosh. Uh, it'll be great when they put in na actual navies for this. For this mod. Um, actually, I'm not sure if they're planning to or not, but... Actual navies would be pretty, uh, pretty awesome. Look at how freaking slow this guy is. He's stuck? I don't think he's moving at all. Try not to bump into him. The AI... I, I can't tell if the AI is just... Um, sitting there, or, or what. Because uh, the units are so damn slow. It's... Uh, it is something... Uh, something else. No, they are moving. Um, we await your command. What's the range on these guys? Oh, the range is not the greatest. Yeah, this is pretty much hopeless. I probably should have just auto resolved this, but um, oh shit, what are you doing? Up front. Just keep you in behind. Keep him safe. Yeah, really unfortunate. Um, I mean, this will save us. This will free up some some cash, some loot. <laughs> but um, losing the general is. Um, is not ideal and the fact that these guys were crusaders I don't know if we can send another army on crusade to get access to those crusaders or not so if we if we can't that's gonna be um, it's yeah not gonna be great um, actually wait 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 just wait till they get a little bit closer a little closer push these guys up a bit If we can take out some of their some of their cav, would be nice. Yeah, our archers should do a fair bit of damage, but once they once they engage us in melee, it's fucking over. Just whiz right past us. Yeah, I, I don't know. We could try and maneuver, um, but because the ships are so slow, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference maneuvering. Are you... is he... I don't know what's happening there. Have you... 
I'm in one last stand here. Archers are not doing much damage at all. And we are losing these engagements. I'd like to win this one against the cavalry. Um, take out one of their cavalry pieces. Um, we're going to have to... Fuck, I, I really hope that we can... Um, we can put send a second army on Crusade because we are going to need some troops in a hurry. After, after this disaster. I'm wearing them down slowly. Have you come over here and attack those, uh, those cav? See if we can take them out. Wearing them down. We're actually taking some losses, uh, a few losses here and there. Are we winning over here? I think our archers actually defeated this cavalry unit here. Where's their general? aren't doing a very good job here. Shoot into this group. Yeah, it's not looking good. Let's uh see if we can pull you out. God damn it's so clunky. Oh wait, let's see here. Fight these guys, see if we can take out another cavalry unit. I think we've taken down one or two cavalry units already. Come on, boys. Turn around. They're behind you. Come on, surely you guys can win this fight. some damage to them but I yeah there's there's very little hope of victory here it doesn't um, but we're at least getting a little bit of damage in on them which is important because oh, son of a bitch archers are all on piercing shot no one of the shooting so slow I always forget Take out another one of their cav. Yeah, the thing is, if we can, um, if we look at this, swords losing to archers. How is that possible? If we can get another enemy. army built right away, we could potentially assault their. Um, Potentially assault their um, their capital like it, it, well it, a lot depends on what this army does afterwards if they make landfall in Scotland Or if they come back around to attack our capital that yeah, would get rid of this guy No oh, finish them off first finish them off Yeah, this is a real shame But I guess, you know, pretty much anywhere we put them out in the water, they were going to be able, this this army was going to be able to reach them. So, this, this army was more or less doomed to begin with. It was either, uh, we could have brought them back through, through England, uh, England's territory, but that would have almost been a... Uh, 
that would have caused its own problems because if we end up end up at war with England while we're, we're at war with Ireland, uh, not uh, not a good situation. Oh no! No! Oh boy, it's on fire. Uh, close defeats. Victory has eluded your grasp. The enemy triumphs, but by a little. Unfortunate. Uh, we did do a fair bit of damage to them. A couple of their cav we hurt. Um, mostly skirmish cavalry. Oh shit, we have guy. I don't think we wiped any units out, but um, they'll replenish slowly, I would think. But these guys survived. Back! Did the armies? What? Drop anchor. Look at that. Got a few survivors. Um, oh, did, I, I don't think the general survived, though. <laughs> Damn it, had I known it was possible for the general to survive, I would have, um, would have maybe done things a little bit differently. Um, alright. Let's, um, let's disband you right away. Because you're, there's no point in having you out there. Um, they could invade up here. Um, which is fine. Um, what's the, what's the garrison like here? Has not replenished, and it's not replenishing. Is the, is it because the the population is so low? Is that what's going on here? Importing food. Look at these fields here. I want to build that up because um, this area with this army over here is a little bit under um, under threat. I feel like Edinburgh. Hmm, maybe, maybe not. All right, let's raise another army here in Canarva. We'll raise this, uh, this marks, and we'll reinstate the, uh, the first. Yeah, so I'm... Um, fuck. That, you know, the worst thing about this is that we lost access to those Crusaders. That is the absolute worst thing. Um, I was just... I wasn't sure how the Crusader button worked. That's why I uh, pressed it there. Imperial Succession, New Emperor... The Roman Emperor has taken the throne following the death of the previous sovereign, but they're of the same faction. The reigning faction's rule is safe for now. Army withdraws. Killed in battle. Who the hell was killed in battle? I thought it was this guy that was killed in battle. This guy, Dem okay, he's a governor. Okay. All right, that's not the worst thing in the world. I thought it was uh, I thought it was the family member that was killed, but uh I am mistaken. This guy's 10 years old now. Soon be we'll make him governor as well when the time comes. So we've got to recruit the old-fashioned way. And we've only got access to uh What's the what's the garrison like here? Yeah. We better get um, just some basic. Oh, we don't even have. Okay, we do have access to uh, to Cav. We need good fighters. Are you ready to serve? Start with some spears. Really stinks. Yeah. Well, build an army. Attack Dublin. And um, and then we'll have our period of building up our strength. I, it's not, it's really unfortunate that really unfortunate that that happened. Commander. Yeah. All right. Let's check the diplomacy. See if there's anybody that. Um... You will find me a willing and attentive audience. All right. I yeah, we'll do that. Get our money back within three turns. Um, Kingdom of Castile. In the name of the state, welcome. All right, if Castile's not going to negotiate with us, most likely the others are not. 
Our papal standing is still seven. Though I don't know what's going to happen when we don't complete the crusade. What's going to happen there? Um, yeah, minus three. I would build it up, but with this army out here, there's no way Inverness can stop them. Um, could build up a small force here at Edinburgh, because I feel like Edinburgh we can defend with a little bit of help. Two, four, six, eight, fifteen, and they're, um, they're not suffering attrition, but they're, um, I don't know, we'll risk it. Um, we'll just build up the force here, because we'll hit Dublin, and, like, if we build a proper army here, um, we'll be able to attack Dublin and then attack Edinburgh. But, uh, yeah. Freaking disaster. We could have access to some freaking kick-ass crusaders. Though, to be fair, we weren't going to be able to afford a whole lot of them. Like, we, it's unlikely that we would have been able to put together a full stack of crusaders. Would have been nice, though. Not gonna lie, it would have been real nice. Oh, of course, they're going for Inverness. That's fine. That gives us time to build up our force. And hopefully, they spend a couple of turns up there sieging it. And then, what we'll do is um, we'll make our way back over there once we're, uh, we're ready. But we need, um, we need some artillery pieces. So let's get those going. We need good fighters. Do we need four? Two sixteen. <sighs> yeah, oh, man. I really wanted to get this upgraded to get trebuchets. I, didn't, I really didn't want to have to recruit regular artillery again. I feel like that's maybe too many. Sign up, lads, for a good and glorious life. But, um, yeah, it looks like they're, they're going for Inverness. Um, I might build a force here to slow them down. Let's put the warrior in here. At your command. And let's rename this. Wales. Second Legion. Alright, it's up to the Second Legion to defend uh, Edinburgh. Um, Inverness is not really worth a lot anyway. Um, oh my life. god. <laughs> That's how we got war declared coming in the name. Gotta remember not to skip through these and, and look for the uh, possible missions and whatnot. Alright, well, I mean, that does increase a little bit. Um, there's no mercenaries available. We used up the mercenaries earlier. Um, but what we do uh, well that's a decent unit there two four six eight so that gives us 10 units against 15 in a defensive position and these guys all banged up I feel like we can hold um, but I more than likely they're gonna siege it out for a few turns but uh, the quicker we get this army oh my god it's gonna take three turns to get these artillery pieces What have they got? What have they got in there? Hmm. I'm just thinking that maybe we don't need the artillery. It's only a small garrison. Maybe we don't need the archers. There's a lot of archers, though. Dangerous. Three turns. What do we got for mercenaries? Plus longbowmen. Hmm. 
I really don't want to wait that long. But they're going to be mucking around up here for a while, but still, three turns. Three turns, we could have 12 units. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Now we'll do it proper. The artillery. Because we're going to need it to, to come up here and retake this. Um, dealing with this force. We hunger for battle. God, yeah, I, I'm just thinking. Maybe we just get a bunch of spears and a bunch of archers, and we'll be. Ah, uh, well. Not gonna second guess it. We'll just go with the artillery pieces. It's it. Go with what works. It's yeah, it sucks. It's gonna take a couple extra turns to for us to get on the move there, but um, it is what it is. Build up a good, decent. Uh, a decent cheap army is what we really need. Oh, look at this. Look at this. They changed direction. That shit. Um, is these guys... They're not replenishing. I guess that must be because of the food. We hunger for battle. Ready for orders. Well, are they gonna make the attack? That's the question. We've got two, four, six, eight. Eight units against uh against fifteen. And they're banged up. They're banged up, and they don't have a lot of archer power. Well, Commander. God, I wish, wish there had been some mercenaries Cancel here that we could have recruited. But yeah, I don't want to upgrade this until we we know it's safe. Military tour, food shortage, food shortage in the lowlands, food shortage here. Oh, wait a minute. Ready for this army can join, send this army on crusade. Oh my gosh, look at that. What about this army? This army cannot. That's interesting. Alright, we'll send the first legion on crusade. And then, uh, we'll fill this army up with, uh, some crusaders. I don't like crossbows. I don't think we'll go with crossbows. But we'll get some. Um, probably get some swords. Or just some cavalry. God, it's. Uh, the, the thing is, the Crusaders are awesome, but they're expensive. Very, very expensive. Ready for battle. But yeah, what, uh, what level is this? What have they got here? Oh my gosh, look at this. Got some good stuff over here be a valuable settlement to scoop up. What's the, uh, what are the odds if we were to sally out here? It's actually pretty close. Actually pretty close. They should be suffering attrition though, they're out in the fucking cold. I feel like auto resolve might give us the result. But, um, yeah, let's stay in behind the walls. How many... Does it say how many turns before we start suffering attrition? Not sure. I check the diplomacy here. All states. Look at Pisa. Welcome, worthy friend. Welcome, worthy friend. I trust... Yeah, still, you guys up for honest that aggression? My salutations and the good wishes. 
For my people's part, welcome. All right, good enough. See if they actually make the assault. They, yeah, they are suffering attrition as well. So I don't know how much attrition they're suffering, but I feel pretty good about our chances there. Um, I think probably here we'll probably just use this for um, 307. Yeah, let's probably just use this for cavalry, I'm thinking. Um, though the swords could be useful as well. I might get the swords. Governor on a science skill. Um, tr tr work towards uh, public order. And actually, before I forget, let's Come let's give down. this guy the uh, longbow. Um, because he, yeah, we're gonna recruit a bunch of archers for them, but it's four or five turns before we get on the go with these guys. I want to get some more spears and some archers and then some cav. Yeah, it would be nice if we had the economy to be able to just recruit all of those crusaders. That would be uh that would be pretty sweet. But yeah, I think we've got these guys right where we want them. Um had they gone for the settlement in the north there, they would have taken it no problem, but um we Oh yeah, look. Okay. <laughs> There they go. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'd gladly trade that settlement for for their capital, which, I mean, it's going to be a couple more turns before we're able to um, head for the capital, but um, we definitely will be able to do it. Um, yeah, let's repair all these buildings. Um, any... no. Just one archer available but we'll take it trade agreement dissolved with kingdom of france why what changes here i uh i guess we don't have um not able to trade with them anymore yeah that's definitely not gonna hold them off um Seems that they didn't really take much attrition there last turn, but um, anyway. Yeah, they'll be mucking around in the north here for a while. Um, I guess they'll probably get some replenishment before they come down here. If we can get some more, some more troops. I wonder if we stepped into this province, if we could hire some mercenaries. This is going to dig into our... Um, Really dig into our uh, our income, um, but yeah, capturing this should increase our income. Though they they do have they do have um, the religious building, which is uh, which is expensive. Ready for orders. All right, take a look at this. Twelve years old. He'll be uh, he'll be in action soon enough. Um, let's see if we can get some of these governors. Yeah, let's pop you in there. Ooh. So our governor... Governor in the lowlands. Um... The, it's... Let me just double check this. That this is the lowlands. Oh, this is the highlands. This is the lowlands. Alright, our governor in the highlands. We should probably boot him out of there before... He gets uh, he gets killed. Let's boot you out of the highlands. Uh, we'll put a governor back. Well, back in there when we retake it. <laughs> but yeah, I just don't want the governor to get killed. Um, is there any other offices? We've got a couple of generals, but they're not leveled up yet. All right, good enough. Good enough. Trying to make sure not forgetting anything. We hunger for battle. All right, those are finally recruited. We'll want, um, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll do two turns. It is a great and glorious oh, thing are you sh okay? People. Never mind. We'll we get good fighters. 
It is a great and oh shit, that's all the archers we can uh that's all the archers we can get. Anyway, that's fine, that'll be enough. Um these fourteen. Come fight with us. Get two more of those. What's the upkeep on these? 148. What's the upkeep on the... Oh, yeah. The spears are cheap. Spears are cheap. Um, I'm just wondering if we should get more spears. There's four, four units left. We want to get some crusaders as well. Yeah, I guess I guess that'll be good, and then we'll get four crusaders. I'm just wondering if we should get these two guys and then two cavalry, or if we should just go four cavalry. And we'll just go four cavalry. Ready for battle. That's okay. We're not uh, we're not gonna assign a governor here. Yeah, and then hopefully this army doesn't bankrupt us. So we've still got a few more turns before the army is ready to uh, ready to rumble. This damn artillery take a while. But yeah, this time I don't think... Um, after this war with Ireland is completed, I don't think I'll downgrade the army again. Um, we'll once the war with Ireland is finished, that we'll we'll start making making preparations to go to war with England. I think just keep the because uh, you don't want to be in a situation similar. to... Do this situation like if if it had been England that had declared war on us, we'd be in a lot more trouble. Um, whereas Ireland, we should be. Um, yeah, see, we I guess it, we just don't have the population. Yeah, the available manpower is just not there. Burgers, 303, but, Ready for yeah, which, this is going to be, we're going to head here next, going to head Order. here next. Decisive defeat, a resource lost, grain, province contested, highlands, settlement lost, highlands, imperial succession, Bologna, ready for duty, garment, food shortage, resolved in the lowlands, a worthy bride. Personal influence plus two. Worthy bride, I don't, who's, uh... I don't understand what's happening here. Who's getting married to who? These two, okay, these two are getting married. And it's her that could intervene. Okay, she could intervene. Um, I, I feel like... Um, give the blessing. Even though she's not, maybe we can adopt him into the family at some point. Our respectable. All right, how are we looking here? Two more turns, and then we'll be uh, ready to recruit those. Ready for orders. Oh man, should we? This is uh, it's a really dangerous move here. Fuck, we're not going to be able to include. We're not going to be able to afford all of this. So this is. 300, 600, 750, and then another 150. So that gets us down to 900. And then 
Um, cavalry. Yeah, we will only have nine hundred for cavalry. Um, maybe grab these guys four sixty three. Or maybe we'll go with the, all the uh, all the cheaper guys, the cheaper cap. Though they should be still be pretty strong together. I'd like to get the guy that's shielded. But I think what we'll do is we'll we'll go with these um, these guys that are each three hundred, and then that'll just barely Commander. barely get us in under the books. I was gonna send this guy down and try and hi hire some mercenaries, but clearly we can't. Can't afford it, um, so we'll um, we'll wait on that. And um, yeah, maybe recruited too much artillery here. But um, yeah, unfortunately. So what happened with France here? Is France did France get eliminated from? Oh my gosh, I think. <laughs> I think France is no more. I think that's what happened there. Yeah, so we're in a little bit of a tight spot, but we we should have a pretty strong army. Uh, the combination of cheap spears, cheap archers, artillery, with some uh, with some strong cavalry should be um, should be sufficient to really um, do some damage. Let's hope, anyway. And just the, the more we can delay them in, in Scotland, the better. They on, uh, We can't even see if they're on the move or not. Yeah, it's real unfortunate that we can't recruit any more troops up here for him. But uh, not the end of the world. We'll make, um, we'll make, try and make a stand of it. One more turn. Uh, how are we doing for income? So this is... So 250 and... And 150, so that's 400. Ah, shit. We're gonna be... I, I'm still gonna do it, even if we're a little bit negative. Because we'll be capturing Dublin. Potentially losing that. But um, we've got a little bit of money banked up. So we should be able to... Um, oh god, I would love to um, build the engineer's workshop, but I think we need to keep this money as a reserve for now. No events. Alright, um, I don't think there's anything to check here. We are good. Burn another end turn. Yeah, and if we're lucky, we can move within one turn to attack um, Dublin. That would be nice. Attack Dublin, take that out, and then head north. And then hope we should... I don't know. We'll, we'll see how things go, but um, we should be able to hold on to the lowlands. They haven't made their move yet. And even if they do... Even if they do, it's um, it'll take them a couple turns to get in there. They won't siege it out until the second turn. All right. So Crusaders, let's um, let's get this guy, this guy, not that guy, this guy, and this guy. So all the cheap. Oh shit. Yeah. So we're we're just. Yeah, I mean, it's not the elite cavalry, but these are speed-wise the faster cavalry, which has, has its benefits. Um, they're not all shielded, but I, I feel like they should perform pretty well for us. Do they have um, a block chance? Uh, it's unfortunate they don't have any um, any uh, a ranged weapon. That would be nice if they had ranged weapon. Actually, oh, they're... 
why their seems their upkeep is less than what I was was expecting. All right, let's see if we can make it there this turn. Uh, I don't think we can. If we attack by sea. We can attack this turn. Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea for us to attack by sea, but they're, they're all going to have sea sickness. Can we... Alright, good. Alright, this is more like it. Um, hasn't changed the balance of power. Um, but... Um, this should be a pretty easy siege for us, for the most part. The, their archers will be dangerous. Uh, but we'll try and absorb most of the archer fire with, um, with, the, with the spears. Or, if we could create a breach, and if there's an opening, we'll send in some of the cavalry to, um, to weed out the archers. But, um, yeah, we shouldn't have too much trouble here. Um, yeah, I just knew, I didn't want to do the siege with seasickness and with the, um, yeah, I, I just wasn't sure if we'd be able to have enough movement. Anyway, guys, though, um, siege is going to take probably, uh, better part of 20 minutes to half an hour, so I think we will leave it here. Uh, the war with Dublin, we'll take Dublin, and then we'll, we'll head, send the army over here as quickly as possible once we've taken Dublin and sort out the rest of the, uh, the Irish, so the Irish have settled into Scotland. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of the support, comments, and feedback and advice. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Ragnarok signing out.